So my name is Helen Sloan and I am the principal stills photographer on Game of Thrones. I'm, I'm not sure that my photographic style has really changed that much over the years. I think I've always had a certain, people describe it as a bit melancholic and a bit gritty and I, I think my style has always been that. Um, but I do, I do know that I've, I focus a lot more on technique and technology these days because when you're working for big companies that's so important and um, it's so important that the images are crisp and you know it's, it's important that they're usable on a very very large format you know for billboards so I think I'm, I'm definitely focusing on the te technology more these days than I ever did but I think my style has remained true. Uh, so I'm Keith Bernstein I'm 60 years old, I've been a photographer since I left school at the age of 18, uh, and I now shoot uh, exclusively film stills, so I'm on the set of movies in the UK and abroad, a lot in the States, and I shoot all the press and publicity pictures, so it's everything for print, uh, media, social media, and of course the film posters that come out to publicise the film. No, I don't think it has. I mean, I'm, I don't think the style that I shoot now has changed at all, really. And I was giving a talk earlier today, we're recording this at the NEC in Birmingham, I was giving a talk on the Sony stand, showing the film stills, and I was linking the film stills to the photojournalism that I did through the 80s and 90s, early 2000. And although the two things seem very different uh, as styles of photography, in fact, I shoot them in exactly the same way. So I think that everything that I do, really, I don't light very much. Everything I do is available light. It's nearly always with people. It's, I very seldom shoot anything without people. And the approach to it, whatever the subject is, is always, photographically, has always been the same for me. It's never changed. Uh, I'm Richard Peters. I'm a Nikon ambassador and I shoot wildlife. So um, I think my photographic style, it's something that's developed um, organically. I think it's important not to um, try to find a style. I think your style has to find you. And I've always kind of been quite a creative person anyway. And so, you know, I like to look for dramatic light and I like to look for kind of interesting, sometimes interesting composition, but I'm always looking at what the light's doing. And I didn't realize I was doing that until somebody saw some of my pictures and they said, I saw this picture of yours and I knew it was yours before I, knew, before I saw it was yours, before I saw the name, I knew it was yours because of the style. And that's when I realized I'd kind of developed a style. I didn't know I'd done it myself. It just happened organically. And I think that's important because if you, try to push a style or force one on yourself or look at what someone else is doing and copy that it's never going to work as well because it's not something that you've kind of worked at yourself it's you're, you're copying it so your brain isn't thinking in that style it's just imitating what it's seen elsewhere so I think it's really important to have an organic style and just let it come to you it might take a month it might take five years but the more you use your camera the more your style will find you and I think that is that's a really important kind of thing for for people to think about so my name is John Asari I'm Olympus visionary um, a lot of my photography these days are um, events portraits, weddings, um, and architecture. I think my photography has changed over time. It started out in an advertising context um, and was very influenced by late 80s lighting. Um, and then it moved into reportage, documentary, and then in the last decade, uh, it's, it's got a kind of reportage advertising, so it's kind of combined the advertising approach of my early career with then my documentary approach that came later and now my new work is very much documentary advertising there's this kind of like glamour documentary about it and that's particularly because of the the high-end weddings that I work on. I do a lot of high-end weddings. I am Toby, Toby Shinobi. I take photos and a little bit of video getting more into it. I started out about five years ago I think and I guess social media has helped with my kind of rise to the position I am now. Yeah, it, I, th I think it has, it, it has to. Um, you have to evolve as a person. You try different things when you first start out and you, you need to evolve. It's definitely become more refined. I'm known for certain things and I try to branch out from just being known for that because you, you never want to be typecast as an artist. Um, but at the same time, it, I, it's given today's climate, you know, social media and the abundance of photos that we're bombarded with, it's better to be known for something than to be not known at all. So, you know, perspective, symmetry, geometry, um, clean lines, all that kind of stuff is, is what I'm really, really known for. And I try to bring that into other photography, but sometimes it doesn't demand it. So when I'm doing street photography, you know, symmetry doesn't 
matter as much. Geometry and those all the kind of things kind of fall to the wayside. Same with fashion and sports photography. So I try my hand at different things. My style's definitely changed, but um, I guess when I started developing my style, it was something I enjoyed and I still enjoy it now. So it's never going to leave me because it was born from kind of within anyway.